All right, so I just kind of want to do a quick update, follow-up on this HP Z240 case swap and an issue that I ran into. So in case you guys decide to do this swap and you have this, this might be able to help you. So um, installed everything, everything started running great, Windows did its thing, did its all updates, but when it updated to the newest version of Windows, I started having this weird issue. So the computer would turn on, and after it turned on, it would, and this happened after the latest update, and I had not done the update prior to this build or anything like that, but I just did it the other day and it just started. So you do the update and the computer turns on, it's fine, but when you go to restart it, you'd get no screen. It'd actually give you a blank screen. The computer sounded like it was booting up. So to me, I figured, oh, maybe it was a display card uh, driver issue. No, was not that. Tried about three or four different uh, video cards, checked my HDMI cables, checked my um, uh, monitor over here, swapped them out, still kept on doing it. So then the craziest thing that I had to do was I actually had to take the memory stick out, which as you can see, I only have one in there right now. And we resolved this issue. I also tested the memory. And what I'd have to do is I'd have to put in a different slot, turn the computer off, turn it on. And after I turned it on, it would boot up because it would give me that error in the BIOS memory change. Okay, cool. So now I'm thinking it's bad memory. Nope, do the same thing. And then it would go to a black screen every time I restart the computer. So I'd have to turn it off, swap to a different memory slot, and do that just to get back into Windows. So after doing that a bunch of times, I kind of ruled it to be somewhat of a BIOS issue on it after testing everything. So what do we have to do? One, two, HP Z240 small form factors on the HP website over here. Not right now. And we have to get the newest BIOS. The BIOS version that I had was the 1.76. And this is 1.81, which actually came out on December 29th of 2020. After I did that, and uh, updated the BIOS, it ran fine. And I haven't had an issue since. Checking a couple of forums, apparently the new update to Windows can cause this. It's not confirmed, but people run into that. So, yeah, something definitely to consider. Now, also, just to kind of show you guys how to do it, once you unzip it or decompress it, go to your C drive or wherever you compressed it to, Go over here, SP, whatever they save it as. In this case, it saved it as SP111965. Open it up. And then if you're going to do it in the Windows, which you can, go to HP BIOS Update REC. And then just click the 64-bit version, which ideally that's what you should be running with this. And then it'll just go through the whole rigmarole, do it. It'll boot off, boot on. And then at one point, it feel like the computer wasn't going on. Once you hit the BIOS update, just let it do its magic. Let it do its thing. and It'll be fine. Updating the BIOS actually fixed the issue with this, and it's actually the computer's running a lot better than it did before. It was a little sluggish before, which I didn't catch on to, but now that it's doing it. So guys, if you have the HP Z240 and you start getting some weird hardware issues that you're not sure and you've ruled out everything else, you need to update the BIOS on this. And I probably should have done that from the get-go when I got this computer, but of course, I guess I got lazy or I forgot. One of the two. I don't know. So I just want to make this quick video to kind of give you guys an update on this computer and just show you that if you run into this issue, you definitely need to update the BIOS and that probably could be it and it will probably fix most other issues that you may have with. So hope this video gives you guys some good, useful information, helps you solve your problems. So thanks for watching and we'll see what we come up with next.